What's going on guys, it's Freeman and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now in today's video we're going to be playing Gunfight 1v1, but also I'm going to be telling you guys about the history I have had personally with FaZe Clan and Call of Duty and things like that, and basically just telling you all about my background and stuff like that, along with FaZe Clan and Pro Teams and things like that. But without further ado, let's hop in. So let's take it all the way back to about when I was probably 11 years old, maybe 10 or 11 years old. I believe the first experience I had with FaZe Clan was scrolling upon one of FaZe Jeb's videos. FaZe Jeb has always been my favorite, one of my favorite FaZe men. Oh, I'm trash, oh my God. But anyway, it goes all the way back to where I found out who FaZe Jeb was. And he's always been my favorite content creator of all time. I watch him every single day. Oh, give me that head. What are you doing? I watched him every single day, like for the past, like, I don't even know how long. I've watched him for so, so long. And once I found out who Faze Jeb was, I think I found him when he was in Darth. I remember when Jeb was in Darth making videos with his black headset and the Amish beard and everything like that, playing the Impossible game. It was really good times, really good times. And then once I found out who Faze Jeb was, uh, that led me to like other content creators like Apex, Blaziken, Adapt, Temper, Norden. Like I just, I fell in love with this group. I fell in love with this group and like, they've literally been my inspiration for like, ever since I went through high school, I was always a Face Clan like fanboy. Like I loved Face Clan. I loved everything that was about him. I loved the trick shots. I loved the Call of Duty about it. And that's why I still play Call of Duty to this day because it's just so, it's just in my roots. Mm, that's that 90 ping for you. Woo! Oh, there ain't like my look at my ping. Look at that. I'm 99. He's 48. Like whatever, man. Like the service in my area is so bad right now. Like I can't even like play really. That's why I hopped into these 1v1s instead of like player matches. I knew I was just gonna get pub stomped. Like because I'm like at, at like a 90 ping right now. There's nothing I can do. Thor and Oaken Shield. Hobbit reference. Okay. Okay. Ping's looking good now. Let's go. Something may have changed in the service. Back to what I was talking about, though. Yeah, face clean's just always been a big part of my life. I remember I was, you know, really, I had a really tough time in high school and stuff like that, you know, just because I was a curly, I was a curly redheaded, you know, redheaded kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I wasn't that popular. Like, and going home, watching like ill cams and stuff like that, going home and watching the newest like face house video. It was like just fun times and everything. I remember, oh my God, he's drop shotting. I remember whenever Dirty, I remember whenever Dirty got into phase i would really follow him a lot too because dirty is honestly like dirty like his name is perfect for what he does on call of duty the man is a freaking beast when it comes to call of duty oh my god bro i like i'm not good at these 1v1s man okay we just might want to bum right no we're not yeah this dude's on at this kid's on adderall i swear this kid's on adderall like all the content creators and phase though and stuff like that they i really like connected with them and things and stuff like that norden i remember watching norden all the time and norden's like on some he's just on some like you know mental kick right now you know he's he's doing his thing where and i really appreciate it because honestly a lot of people dealing with mental issues and i feel like norden with the platform that he has could help a lot of people but you know he's just chilling doing his thing i remember norton was one of the funniest phase members i ever watched though like he was freaking hilarious back in the new york phase house right then he was so funny i used to love watching his videos all the time I, I wish he uploaded more but i understand why he doesn't want to you know everything like youtube is a game you know like just a game you gotta play and stuff like that and you know when you're worried about the numbers all the time then you're not even having fun with it but that's why i do it man i just love having fun with this i feel like this video is just gonna be me just getting my freaking ass raped the entire video I'm sorry. These kids are on Adderall. At Adderall or freaking cocaine or something. Jesus. Yeah, and, and when I got to around the age of 14 and 15, that's where I really kicked up watching every phase montage. I, I remember watching the return team montage, and it was me and my friend, and we had such a good time. Because we, look, me and John, you know, Panda love call of duty so much and i remember when we was like 14 15 maybe 16 i can't remember when the time was 
but we would watch in uh, the team Taj, the return team Taj, and it was such a good montage. Everyone was in it, Adapt was in it, Flippin' Norton was in it, Blaziken was in it, Jeb was in it, Test, or not Test, Testy wasn't in phase this time, but Replays was in it. it. Like, everybody was in it, and it was such a good time for phase. Like, they felt like they were coming back to their roots. Call of Duty was kicking, you know what I mean? And I really wish, like, they put, I really wish they would drop a montage on this game. Like, I really do. This map is weird for 1v1s, because it's really big. Oh, he forfeited. Ah. Huh. Neat. Well, I guess I could take this time to just talk. But, um, man, it was just like, and I remember whenever, like, Phase 5 came around, I wasn't to, at the point where I could actually, like, go for it, because my internet wasn't the best, you know, it wasn't in the right situation where I could have, you know, went for clips, up uploaded it, you know, actually, like, went for it you know what i mean but and i remember about maybe two years ago maybe one year ago they started talking about introducing phase five again and i was like i gotta get on that like phase five was something that i always wanted to go for phase five was something that i always wanted to test myself you know what i mean because i remember watching dirty's video when he got into phase because of phase five i remember it was such an eye-opening experience whenever i watched that video because he was sitting there like Oh my god, I made it. Like, I actually made it out of all of the people that, like, entered into the contest. It was really surreal. Like, like I want that experience in my life. And I really hope they do do a Phase 5 again for maybe just not just Call of Duty, maybe content creators, things like that. Just for some small channels to grow a platform, you know what I mean? To get a platform to, like, boost their numbers, you know what I mean? Which Phase Clan is already, like, a really, really big organization now. You know, they got clothing brands they have a deal with kappa they got the you know everything's just going good for phase and i feel like they'll be here just as a company and an organization to stay for a very very long time like they could branch out into so many different like areas but phase has always been a dream of mine i even put it's my pinned tweet on twitter my pinned tweet on twitter is literally fade hashtag phase freeman come back to this tweet when i've reached my life when i've reached my dreams like it's it's my dream, it's my goal, it's what I'm passionate about. Face Clan has been in my life for so long. Like, I guarantee you I could go, where is it? I bet you anything, like, oh man, I'll do it in a second, but I have a Phase Jeff shirt in there. I have a Phase Shaker cup, like, like Face Clan is everything to me. It's my whole life. When I'm sitting down, you know, after a long day of school or work, and I can just pop on one of the Face Clan's newest videos, or pop on Phase Jeff's newest video, I just concussed myself to death. No, he actually hit that. Wow. GG's right there. Oh, looky there, baby. Woo. 999. I like it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is great. I don't even know what I'm doing. And server disconnected. Jesus. So I think that's where I'm going to like finish the video off here doing just the regular old face cam. And I'm really thinking that like face clan is going to be my dream. Like it is my dream. It is my passion. It's what I'm shooting for. And one day when I get, you know, gained in numbers and things like that, because I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding COD, keep grinding the YouTube thing, keep grinding everything, man. Like, Face Clan is my life. It's my passion. It's my dream. And I'm I'm going to push for it, man. I'm going to push to be a member one day. I'm going to push to know all these guys on a personal level, make it, you know, make them my friends. Because honestly, I feel like they're my friends already just for how much they've done in my life. Like, they've done so much for me in the fact of just, you know, giving me, a, like, someone to listen to, you know, giving me someone to talk to and I could, like, you know, just watch and have a good time. I really appreciate everyone in FaZe, like, you know, FaZe Jev, Apex, Norton, Blaziken, Tico, everybody, Temper, Testy. You know the newest members like thieves high sky like i love everyone in face i don't care if they play fortnite i don't care if they play call of duty i don't care if they're just a blogger place clan as an organization is a family and i want to be a part of that family well anyways guys this has been freeman i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content i'm gonna have more videos pumping out within the next couple weeks and it's gonna be a really good time so anyway yeah it's been freeman guys peace